I was going through the Walmart checkout, and I was surprised to see it handheld for only $10. So, I am the Game Collector, and this is Second Opinion Games. And today, I do the review of Mercury Innovation's arcade fun portable handheld thing at the checkout at Walmart. Okay, roll it. Second Opinion Games. Okay, so here's the box. This is what you're looking for. And right off the start, you'll see that it shows Excitebike, as well as some Tetris blocks. On the back of it, you see what looks like some really generic games. They could even be ColecoVision. And when we open it up, well, you'll see a three-foot-long cord with mono sound that allows you to play on your television. You'll see a little micro-USB charger and uh, the instruction manual, I guess, but it's, it's really not really even worth looking at. And the unit itself feels unbelievably cheap. There are four face buttons here, but two of them are turbo buttons. The X and A buttons are the turbo, and the other two seem to be your normal, like, NES, B, and A style. There's a volume dial on the side and the really cheap rechargeable battery in here. And this is what they look like in about comparison to the Game Boy Color. So we might as well turn these both on so we can see how the picture looks in general. You could hear already it doesn't sound very good. And yeah, this little handheld has a much brighter and clearer screen than Nintendo's own Game Boy Color. However, the D-pad does feel really cheesy. The buttons all feel fine, though. So let's take a look at the games now. So the box says it has 200 games. I am not going to look at all 200 of these because even if I did, you know what? We'll get to that later. So if we take a look at Twin Fish, well, it's just a matching game that looks really disgusting. I would not be surprised to see that this was an original game for this console, but chances are it was ripped off of something else. You also have Turtles 1, and guess what it is? Of course, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first game for the NES, and of course, it's all in Chinese because legal reasons i guess they feel like it's not completely ripping it off and illegal if it's all in chinese i don't know why but also it removes the cutscenes in between the levels and it does seem to have the entire full game on here so i gotta give it credit for that so we have Fantasy Zone, and that's when I started to feel like there's an actual problem with this system. You see, it's okay if you're just hitting up or down or left and right, but when you use a combination of the two, well, sometimes your ship will stick in one little spot, and other times it will just not do what it's supposed to do to play any frame roaming shooter like this. It does seem to have the whole game as well. Snow Brothers is okay. It's a playable game, but it's not for me. I suck at Snow Brothers, and I can't seem to do anything with it. Octopus. Well, it's another game that feels like it was ripped off of the same matching game that was before it because it seems to have a very Little Mermaid type of feel. However, I do kind of like this game. Trying to get all these little gems and get in the middle is quite challenging. And yeah, it's a good time waster, but I feel like that's exactly what I'm doing. Wasting time. Tank 1990. Oh yeah, pass. Black and white chess. Well, it's just Othello, which is okay if that's what you're into. There's also the NES version of Othello on here too, which means they have the same game more than once. A matter of fact, they do that a lot here. Fantasy Zone is also on more than once, and so is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as well as Excite Bike, which is actually a great Nintendo game and licensed by Nintendo, so there's no real legal way for this to possibly be here. However, it's still a great game, no matter how you cut it. You also have Door Door, which you open up a door and things go inside. This is probably an NES Famicom game based off the, their disk system when it had really limited memory and no one ever wanted to bring it over here to America. Uh, I could be wrong on that, though. It's just unplayable. I really don't like playing it very much at all. Then we have Ass Art. Well, I might be saying that wrong, but it's a puzzle game where you have to make it through all of the blocks. I really enjoy this game, and I found myself being sucked into it and playing it a lot. It's definitely worth every penny I spent on this system just to play this game, if it wasn't for also Excite Bike, of course. 
Then we have Macross, which is another spaceship shooter game. This was a Famicom game, and you could transform, but that D-pad really does get in the way. And Space Invaders. I'm not sure which version of Space Invaders this is. There are countless versions of Space Invaders out there, and they went with one heck of a crappy one. So that's a look at the games that are on here. Yes, some of them are good. Some of them are absolute stinkers. But one thing's for sure, for $10, this cannot be legal. It has Excite Bike on, after all, as well as some Tetris clones and some other things like that. Honestly, I don't really think I'm the one that this should be marketed towards. So I gave it to an eight-year-old, and he absolutely loved playing this. He mostly used it like I did as an Excite Bike player. So if you find yourself at the self-checkout at Walmart, and you're not too deterred by the fact that it's probably illegal to even be selling one of these, well, pick one up, because at the very least, you have a good Excite Bike player, as well as Assar. But of course, that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time making it and I got to explore something that I don't normally dive into. Really bad handhelds that I found at weird places. Mercury Innovations, I went to their website and it doesn't seem to have this product on it. Matter of fact, they don't seem to make really anything. They just license out other products from other Chinese companies and try to resell it at us for a really high price. So I can't really recommend buying any of their products, especially because of their dubious legality reasons but hey hey you know what if you have an idea for review that you want me to do please let me know in the comments down below and until later i will see you again guys